Hello, my name is Nevon Mansour and I work as application engineer here in Vaisala. Today we're demonstrating how to do data logging with Indigo 520. We have this example case that we are doing measurements in isolator. We are using Indigo 520 and also two probes, HPP272 and also temperature sensor TMP1. From this display you can see that with the HPP272 you can measure hydrogen peroxide concentration, relative saturation and temperature. With the another temperature sensor TMP1 you can measure temperature from another location. The data locking feature is available from software version 1.13.2 onwards. Please check that you have at least that one. Please note that I have already created web interface user and this is important to do before this video that you get access to your transmitter with your PC. If you need guidance about updating your software or creating web interface user, please check our Indigo 520 user guide or some previous videos. Now we will do the physical connection between the transmitter and my PC. For that you would need Ethernet cable and also a hex key. And now I have connected the Ethernet cable, the transmitter and my PC. The last thing to do with the transmitter is to activate the web interface. For this we need to press to activate web interface button. And for that you would need a pointy object like a pen. And let's press this button. And now you can see that the web interface is activated from the green light. And now let's configure the PC to the same IP address space as the transmitter. Open your network connections, double click on the right Ethernet port, then select properties, then choose Internet Protocol version 4, and then press the use the following IP address. Then you need to fill the IP address. So it's 192.168.5.1 and then OK. Then you need to open your web browser. In the address field type https colon double slash and the transmitter's IP address. So in this case 192.168.5.20 and then colon and 8443. And then you press the advanced and proceed to the page. Then you need to log in From the measurement window, you can export the data from this export data button. You can choose what kind of log you want to export. We have sample data that it's stored in five seconds locked and the other logs store the minimum, maximum and average values. Let's choose the 10 minute log. Exporting the data might take some time. Now when the data is downloaded, you can analyze the data, for example, in Excel. Here you can see on top some basic information and then below the data for two of the probes. So first you can see for the HPP272, And then in the end is the temperature sensors data. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.